Where are the wire things? Why are things cry? Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you, so much. John Byrne's grandchildren understand Granddad's death. They've found a way to communicate and share stories. And that's really important to me. And it's important to the grandchildren also. They can be part of their lives and they can be part of me. John became deaf at 12 and spends his life trying to be the best he can, both at home and at work. People with disabilities, deaf people, not like to adapt. Not like to adapt their environment to succeed. It is a pity to be a disability anyway, just an invisible one. John's director of corporate services for a company in Perth. He manages a budget of $400 million. Total assets of about $4 billion. I look after the people function, 2,000 odd employees. I had a doctorate at 24, so that was a some ability there, I think. At the end of his day, John loves to escape into a good film. When watching a movie in the cinema, we forget about the everyday problems. It's really a form of escape from the pressures of life. You can relax and enjoy it, or be frightened, or be terrified. John had long been frustrated that there were no captions in cinema or on television. Because there was a cost involved, it had never happened. All oh, my friends and siblings were there enjoying it. But for me, I just couldn't follow it adequately. So it wasn't much fun. When the Disability Discrimination Act came in, John knew they'd be forced to act. He lodged complaints demanding captions on television, in theatres and cinemas. Everybody's right to do everything they want in society. If I want to go to the cinema with my family and see it with captions, that's my right. I'm a citizen like everybody else, and that is my right. The Human Rights Commission called a round table with movie distributors and exhibitors to collaborate on an industry solution. There's a need in all of us to hear the stories of, of the group that we're in, the race that we're in, the humanity uh, with whom we share so much. Um, whether those stories are stories that are read to us when we're little kids, uh, whether they're stories we read ourselves, whether they're stories shared with us by friends or shared in a broader way by watching a movie, um, going to the cinema, um, whatever the, the process. It's just a critical part of our communication and, uh, and bonding and one of the things I suppose that distinguishes us from uh, other forms of life on the, on the planet. As a result of John's complaint, progressive change is happening in cinemas across Australia. New technology like Captiveview is here. Soon, 230 screens will provide cinema goers with a small armchair screen providing captions and audio descriptions.